All right, AMD overclockers, rejoice. It is here, the Crosshair 3 Formula motherboard for the AM3 Plus socket. If you want to overclock your Phenom 2 uh, or your Phenom X3, X4s, this is what you want to use. Uh, it is the AM3 Plus socket. It supports the 140 plus watt CPUs. It supports the 45 NM CPUs. And then, I mean, of course, it does support all the other CPUs, but if you're buying this and you're not running a high-end X4 on here, well, you're probably spending too much money on your motherboard, but this is a very, very high-end overclocker's dream as far as the motherboard goes. Several world records have been set uh, on this motherboard as far as frequency uh, using uh, different uh, X4 965s as well as the uh, tweaker chips from AMD. Uh, I think over 7 gigahertz easily uh, on this board has been accomplished using uh, liquid helium. So very high-end board for breaking records. It even comes with its own copy of uh, Future Mark uh, 3D Mark 06, I believe it comes with. Um, in the box, comes with a Kapersky antivirus, so very, very nice. Let's take a tour, starting off uh, with the socket right over here. It's the AM3 socket. Of course, it does support the 140 watt processors and the 45 NM uh, AMD processors, Phenom 2s, uh, both the X3s and the X4s, all that good stuff, and the Athlon 2s as well. Uh, up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, up to 1600 megahertz. Uh, support natively, so very, very fast DDR3 uh, is available on here. Uh, it's basically the uh, 790FX Northbridge chipset, and then uh, down here at the bottom, uh, it's the SB750 chipset. Uh, so both proven chipsets that are great for overclocking, great for gaming, great for just about anything. They're very, very good chips, and they've been around for a bit already, but uh, this is the latest high-end board to use them. As far as graphics go, you do have two PCI Express X16 2.0 slots. What's great about these is whether you run them uh, with one card or two, they're going to be an X16 regardless. So if you do uh, Crossfire X on these boards, which again, this is a Crossfire X only board, it is an AMD board, uh, so it will not do SLI, but if you are going to use two of them, let's say you're going to use two of the uh, uh, 5870s or even the 5890s for quad fire, uh, they will both run in X16 when they're populated. So that's very nice. You also have three PCI Express X1 slots, uh, one of which is actually being used up here with the sound card, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, then you have two more, uh, one here and then one at the bottom. Uh, then you also have uh, an additional single PCI uh, 2.2, which is like basically the standard uh, PCI slot. Now uh, let's move on and talk about storage because uh, you have quite a few SATA ports here. Um, so here are uh, your basic first few SATA ports. Uh, you have uh, five, and those are support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and RAID 10. Uh, you also have, in case you, for whatever reason, decided to use IDE, you do have a IDE connector right here, so that'll give you an additional two drives. Uh, also, uh, down here at the bottom, a few headers uh, for um, USB as well as for Firewire, so those are very nice. Your start uh, and reset buttons are on here. These are going to help you uh, turn the computer on before you hook up the front panel, as well as overclock on the fly. This is also how you use the tweak it function uh, for these boards. You do have a memo K button, which is going to let you make sure you get your memory running uh, quickly and efficiently on the board when you first set it up in case you're using memory that's not on the uh, qualified vendors list uh, and you need to get it running. It's got some crazy profiles or really low latencies that aren't booting up. You can push this button and it'll basically set it up to a profile that you know it's going to boot up on. Uh, looking at the back panel, there's also a bunch of good stuff. Uh, PS2, uh, basically, in case you have an old keyboard and mouse you want to use, uh, a bunch of USB 2.0s. There's actually 12 in total, so there's three headers on the inside for giving you a total of six and then six on the back panel. Uh, clear CMOS button. Uh, you have FireWire and eSATA, Gigabit Ethernet, uh, and then a couple more uh, USB 2.0 ports. Also, uh, again, the sound card, very, very nice. It's the su Supreme uh, XFi. Uh, so it's basically eight channel audio, HD. It's got the SP diff. It's got a line in uh, and a line out. Very, very nice sound card. You don't have to really worry about uh, the onboard audio because you get an included card. Uh, and it does light up over here on the top. Very nice. It's made by Creative. It's got a lot of cool features, crystallizer and uh, EAX 4.0. If you're playing a game that supports that, it's a really cool feature. Uh, so basically, sound is taken care of uh, as far as that goes. You also have uh, the LCD poster, uh, which is going to help you use the tweak it function. And it's also going to help you uh, look at postcodes when you're starting up in case you have any errors. Uh, you can figure out what it is. Uh, now, besides that, 
all the features that you're used to seeing on an AMD motherboard from Asus. Uh, you have the Easy Flash, uh, the Crash Free BIOS, the Q connectors, the noise filter. Uh, Asus Turbo V is basically uh, their overclocking setup from inside the operating system uh, that's going to allow you to overclock from the OS without having to worry about, uh, you know, using. Uh, you know, going to the BIOS and resetting, it lets you basically overclock and increase the base clock and the voltages from inside the OS. And uh, the way I use it is that I actually run Prime 95 over here, and I put the Turbo V here, and I just, you know, click, 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 click up the base clock, up the voltages, and do it really fast. Test Prime 95. Click, 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 test Prime 95. And I only test Prime 95 for like a second, but when you see one of those threads die, you know that you're right on that border of stability, and then I back it off, and then I increase the voltages, and I keep going with my process, but it's a quick way uh, to overclock quickly without having to, you know, uh, save your settings in the BIOS, reboot, restart, run Prime 95, see if it works, shut down the computer, go back into the BIOS. That's uh, a big pain, and this helps you a lot. Uh, also, as far as features you're going to go, you're going to get um, the noise filter, which actually, uh, it observes the incoming stream if you're recording audio onto the motherboard, like for production uh, purposes. It's going to listen for sounds that are repetitive in the background. Humming noises, air conditioners, fans, um, you know, any kind of sounds that are repetitive, it's going to cancel them out. It's the same technology that you use in sound canceling headphones like the ones from Bose or whatnot. It's basically the same thing, so you're going to get really clean uh, inputs if you're recording stuff. Uh, you also get, like I said earlier, the Kaspersky antivirus as well as the uh, FutureMark uh, 3D Mark 06. Uh, you also get uh, low light calibration, which is basically like V-Droop for other motherboards, but um, Basically what happens is when you throttle your CPU to 100% when you're doing something, uh, the uh, voltages goes up and VDROOP is designed so that when it goes up, it doesn't go past the maximum point uh, and, you know, over, over volt. So basically that's standard design, but it makes it drop off and that can kill your overclock. So basically that makes sure the voltage just stays uh, high so that your CPU, when it goes to that high frequency and it's fully loaded, it doesn't crash. It's important for uh, really high overclocks. It's a good feature. So uh, it's a definitely an overclocker's board, uh, an enthusiast's board, a gamer's board, but it's very expensive. So uh, if you want something simple, this is not for you. If you want to get some incredible benchmarks, if you want to play games with the highest frame rates using Crossfire X, uh, if you want that type of ability, uh, this is definitely the board for you if you're using an AMD CPU. There is no other, and it is the current world record holder for several uh, world records in future mark benchmarks as well as in uh, highest frequency, highest memory frequency, etc. So very nice board, uh, Crossfire 3 Formula. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS Crosshair 3 Formula motherboard, type in A455-2904 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.